television title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, the sniper. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it fight. crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a play and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the jump. Just misses there with the left. Hands high, hands high. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And 
and he landed the right hand there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just over three minutes to go. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. Under three minutes, remain in round one. Changes his stance. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Big body kick lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Look at him working at trying to set the liver down. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Massive head kick. You got him. Oh, straight right. Straight right hand, no good. And that one was heavy. Oh, nice jab. How about those five minutes? Stop, stop, stop. All right, that one signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Let's round. Fight. High Ready. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick, throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still... Okay, there as he lands, and it's maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big elbow. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Nice. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
over and over, he landed this big body kick. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. Tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, strong punch there by Lou. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Tags him with the left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at that leg. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break the wall. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh. Man, who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. another strike to the body really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight you didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds making up for lost time here right punches there outstanding knee to the body there he's the taller fight oh my goodness nice punch by lee yeah, nice how about that chin oh. at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Lands with the left. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Out of range with that one. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
great punch landed with so much power. Head kick is blocked. Throwing that jab, no good. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Right on the button. Oh, oh and there's a blow DC. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively, too. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go! Oh, a little single. Oh, oh, big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue. To rain down, the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the midsection. He needs to start looking to the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He can... Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, big left hook there. in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick 
that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout.